today's reading is a very practical, very simple, self-explanatory. At the same time, it's very challenging. The first reading we heard from St. Paul's, Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 to 17, the theme, be clothed in love. That's also connected with the gospel we heard today. And St. Paul very clearly says, you are chosen race, saints, and God loves you. He's affirming us, and you should be clothed in sincere compassion that we see in the gospel also today. In kindness and humility, gentleness and patience. Put on love, and may the peace of Christ reign in your hearts. And at the end, St. Paul says, whatever we do, we should do for the great glory of God. That is the very purpose of our life, that God, ad maiorum dei gloriam, all for the great glory of God. Our life should become a hymn of praise to the most holy trinity. True, and which everything we do with our life, that's what God wants all of us. And the gospel, the first part, Jesus says, love your enemies. It's not very easy. If Jesus says, love your friends more, it's easy. But what God wants, we have to be like our Heavenly Father who loves us, loves everyone. What God wants, God wants, God is not calling all of us to change the situation, but change the system, the way we see things, the way we approach, the way we do modus operandi that's what god wants all of us we have to be like jesus and sometimes it is very difficult to pray for our enemies in a way they are our benefactors because we ourselves are sinners we ourselves have made so many mistakes so therefore by forgiving and loving and being generous, the Lord is going to reward us. The Lord is going to forgive our sins. And the second part, be compassionate as your father is compassionate. This is a very, very important thing. This is the essence of Christianity. Be compassionate. Be merciful. God is not going to judge us end of the day because you know, we are so merciful or compassionate. And the next word of God is very powerful. Do not judge and you will not be judged. This is the mistake most of the time we do. We constantly judge. We are not called to judge in whatever the situation, in whatever the situation people approaches us, we should always look towards them and our attitude towards them with the merciful heart of our Lord who showed us so much kindness and compassion. And we see the gospel continues beautifully. Give, and there will be gifts for you, a full measure. I like this word of God. Press down, shaken together, and run, running over will be poured into your lap because the amount you measure out is the amount you will give back. 
be generous. And most of the time, we don't understand the secret of generosity. Jesus is the secret. Love is the secret. And by being generous, we are also storing so many treasures in our heavenly bank. There is a heavenly bank. Give, give, give. By that we receive. Give. God has given out time, talents, precious. And most of the time, generous people find an opportunity to give. But the selfish people find an excuse or excuses not to give, not to be generous. So be Today's gospel invites all of us to be generous. Whatever God has given, don't think it's ours. Everything is connected with the responsibility, love and responsibility, wealth and responsibility, talents and responsibility, pressures and responsibility. There is nothing God has given without responsibility. So be responsible. Be good towards God and our neighbor. And that's the way we store a lot of things in heaven. And that's the best thing we store for our children. That's the best thing we store for our generations. Psalms 37, 23 and 24 is a beautiful word of God. It says, Sammy says, I was young, but now I am old. But I have never seen a compassionate person, charitable person, die a bad death. And his children had to beg for food. St. Augustine also said, I have never seen a compassionate and a charitable person die bad death. My dear good people, my dear brothers and sisters, be generous, be good, be good with our heart. That's the essence of the scripture we heard today. If we are not good, if we don't have a good heart, generous heart, it's no point of coming to the church. It's no point of listening to the word of God. No point of praying hours and hours. That's not a prayer. So be generous. Be good. For the grace we can pray today in this church with the Francis of Assisi who taught us that beautiful prayer. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me show love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much to seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen.